Thank you to Sour Sweet Cube 20 for their generous donation on Patreon. Hello everyone, my name is Vivian and welcome to Next Step, a visual novel that I saw being sort of advertised, sort of just talked about by the dev on TikTok. And uh, I even double checked, I was like, "You want? are you cool with the video being made about it? And they're like, yeah, I don't mind videos being made about it. <laughs> I don't know whether or not they know who I am or what I do, but regardless, I uh, it looked promising, it looked pretty cool, so I wanted to give it a shot. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and jump right in, see what we're dealing with here. Ah, oh, we already got a glitch. We got bzzz. I'm kidding. Uh, bzzz. Hmm. Oh my. The name brand recognition in this room. Go. Oh man, how many lawsuits could this open up to? ACDC, they're, they're friendly. I love, I like that Bulbasaur. I think that's for you. Huh? The phone. Oh, right. I'll just let it go to voicemail. Too tired. Ah! I spotted a trans flag. I believe that's a for Affinity Tail and a Pokeball. Man, there's a lot of recognizable stuff in this room. But what if it's your boyfriend? What if it is? What if it, yeah. Dots. And D's not my boyfriend. D's, ah, too easy. Then how'd you know I was talking about Deacon? Because you two are my only friends, who else would you be talking about? Fair point. But you even have a pet name for him. D is a nickname. We've been friends since, like, middle school. It's normal. You don't have a nickname for me, and we've known each other for longer. Yeah, but you're different. Now so? I don't know. Just R. It's like a brother thing, I guess. Whatever you say, but I've seen the way you two look at each other. Oh my god. Hello. Who, who dis? Caught off guard, I sit up on my bed, now staring my, staring my so-called friend in the face with a distressed look of my own. I don't think my reaction was lost on the fox, based on the slight grin forming on his moozle. Okay, so that would be Jay. But, and how's that? Nothing. Just pulling your leg. This, this dude proper skinny. This, this, this dude is a twig. Funny. And besides, I don't even think he... Uh, well... You, you know, is gay? Y yeah. Oh, so you have thought about it before. If, if I check my phone to see if it was him, will you let me sleep? Dodging the question, but sure. Let's see what we go. Oh, hey, hey, little claw hand. I remember when the, I first saw this in uh, Echo. Freaked me the fuck out. Uh, missed call from D, and it text matches from D. Of course it's him. Uh, there's worse things to be wrong about. Well, you were right. Called it. This doesn't prove anything. <laughs> sure, sure. What did he want? Uh, let me see. You awake. And now I am. What's up? Um, uh, sorry if I woke you. But I wanted to see if you were going to next step. They said the thing. It's the title of the game. Frack. <laughs> <laughs> Frickin' frack! This is a PG channel, goddammit! Is that today? I can't believe that I forgot about that! Today is our big high school graduation party called Next Step. So it's not... <laughs> this is an interesting twist. Instead of it being the first day at a new school, it's the last day at a new school. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of parties, so when it was first announced, I wasn't exactly ecstatic, but Deacon seemed excited and adamant that I go. Wait, is that tonight? Huh. <laughs> Figured you'd forget. I wanted to see if you want to come with me. <laughs> well, he was right. I did forget about it, but I was just planning on packing tonight for the move tomorrow. How should I respond? Jay, Jay, do you mind? You seem to be covering my phone. Also, I am apparently a giant. <laughs> you're gonna tell him that you're going, right? <laughs> Ag, you scared me. 
How long were you standing there? Whole time. Well, it's rude to read other people's messages. Not if they're practically your brother. Now are you going to tell him, or yes or not? He kind of already promised him you'd go a while ago. I know. I forgot. And we still have a lot to pack for tomorrow, you know? Yeah, you got to get all these name brands off the wall. And we can get that done tomorrow. And besides, I think that Deacon wants to spend some time with his friend before you move off to college. Well, actually... Actually, I, uh, I haven't exactly told him we're leaving yet. What? Wallace? He's like your best friend. How could you not tell him we're leaving? I know. That's why it's been so hard, and it's been a while since we've gotten to hang out. He's been really busy. I didn't want to distract him. That's no excuse not to tell him. You could have texted if you wanted to. Well, that didn't seem as genuine. It felt like it had to be done in person. And also, I assumed that you would tell him. Well, I didn't feel the need to, since I thought his best friend would have already told him. I know, I'm a horrible person. No, you're not. You just made a mistake. A big mistake, but a fixable one. Now you have to go to him, go with him to the party. Why? to fix your mistake. You're gonna tell Deacon that we're leaving tomorrow and you're gonna make, make it up to him for taking so long. And maybe if things go well, you can confess your unrequited love to him. <sighs> yeah, you're right, I'll tell him tonight. And stop saying I'm in love with him, it's weird. Denial doesn't suit you well, Wallace. Wallace. <sighs> you're impossible. Uh, typing, tip tapping, tip tip tapping, and clacking, and tip. That's a there's a lot of tapping. Oh, I had to I had to click. Yeah, I would love to go. And there's something I want to tell you about. Tell you about tonight. Tell you about tonight. Okay, cool. And okay, is everything all right? Yeah, everything is all right. Just feel like I should tell you in person is all. Well, all right then. See you there at eight. <laughs> Did you tell him? What? You didn't re- What, you didn't read the answer over my shoulder? No, I did. Just thought it'd be more polite to act like I didn't. Oh. Now, come on. Let's go figure out what we should wear to the party. We? Well, it's my graduation party, too, and obviously I'm not letting you go party in the middle of the woods at night alone. You're too fragile. Besides, you need a wingman. I don't need a wingman. Wallace, please. You're like the embodiment of gay panic. No, I'm not. And I meant I don't need a wingman. Be uh, uh, oh, because I'm not going to confess my non-existent feelings to anyone. And I believe you. Just remember I've got your back if you need me. Yeah, I know. Thank you for that. No problem. Also, are you sure we should be picking out our clothes this early in the morning? The party isn't until 8. Well, how do I put this nicely? All that time you spent in the closet didn't exactly do you any good. I'm still in the closet, except to you. Which is still... which I'm still confused about. Why is it that you haven't told Deacon yet? I can understand everyone else, but Deacon? Your obvious crush for him aside, he's your best friend! Don't you trust him enough to let him know? I... I do trust him. It's just... I don't know. I'm scared, I guess. I, I don't know. It's complicated. Hey, it's okay. Trust me. I get it. People can, people can be real shit crap. Heads... Hey, it's a PG channel, motherfucker! Uh, crap heads. When it comes to this stuff. But you should know that Deacon isn't like them. Yeah, thank you, but I think I'll stay in my little closet for a tad longer. Maybe I'll tell him later, just not now. I'm not ready. Well, okay then. I'll support your decision, and I'm here for you if you ever need to talk to me. And hopefully that extra time in there can give you some sort of fashion sense. You're a bit of a fashion disaster. 
So go. So picking out an outfit for the party may take some time. We may even have to go to the mall. Ouch. But I actually can't argue with you on that one. Of course you can. I'm always right. Can we at least eat breakfast first, Mr. Perfect? Mm, I'll allow it. I think your parents are making some pancakes. I can smell it in the air. Hey, Ma. Got any words of wisdom? No words of wisdom today. Just, just breakfast. Breakfast is on the mind. So there's your wisdom. Eat breakfast, goddammit. Ooh, my favorite. You think they're blueberry? I love blueberry pancakes. Well, let's find out. All right, we ate our breakfast and got to work on the outfits. After about an hour of Jay tearing me to shreds about my taste in clothing, we ended up having to go to the mall. Jay took this opportunity to teach me all about the strange world of fashion. Most of it flew right over my head, but I did learn a few things that helped me pick out some clothes for the party. After we purchased our haul, we headed home with our extra time, and with our extra time, got a head start on packing for the move tomorrow. Even with a head start on the packing, there's still going to be a lot that needs to be done for tomorrow, which I'm not looking forward to. But that can wait, because before we knew it, it was time to leave for the party. Wow, way to cut to the fucking chase. <laughs> I know some other visual novels would make you sit through all of that shit. Hey, 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 look at Jay, hey, hey. Uh, yeah, I mean, your fashion is... A fucking jacket and a t-shirt with jeans? What fucking fashion guru are you, sir? Are you sure I look good? Trust me, you look fine. Why are you so worried? I'm not worried. Okay, maybe a little bit. I'm just not the party type, you know? Trust me, I've noticed. But I'll be there too, so if you ever need me, just come find me, okay? Okay. It seems like something else is bothering you. Is it about Deacon? Yeah, sorta. Hey, I'm sure that there's nothing to worry about. He might be hurt at first, but I can almost guarantee you that he'll get over it quickly. You're probably right. Come on, wall ball! Get your game face on! I like that wall ball. <laughs> this may be your, the last chance you'll get to hang out with Deacon for a long while. You don't want your last memory with him to be one of you moping around all night, do you? No, I don't. Then cheer up! Okay, I'll try. I'll take what I can get. Now, let's go over this one last time. What are you going to tell Deacon tonight? Jay, we've already been over this. Well, we haven't done it for the fucking audience yet, so you have to do it again. No, oh, no, I want to hear you say it again, because I can already tell you that what's going to happen once we get there. You're going to get nervous, forget what to say, then chicken out. Jay, please have more faith in me. <sighs> You're right, I'll have faith in you. Just please don't put it off for any longer than you have to. I won't, I promise. Now we better get going, or we're going to be late. We could just show up fashionably late. Maybe not even show up at all. Wallace, please. This will be fun. Hey, all I'm saying is that a night in watching cheesy horror movies would be just as fun. Dots, dots. Okay, fine. Great, <laughs> let's go. You driving? Like I'd ever let you drive after what happened last time. It wasn't that bad. Wallace, no. <laughs> okay, jeez, I was just asking. Wonder what the hell that was about. The car right there was dreadful. Every second that passes means we get closer and closer to the party. And a deacon. The latter of which usually wouldn't be a bad thing, actually quite the opposite, but you knowing the oncoming confrontation that makes things different. Maybe we'll get in a car wreck and miss the party? Honestly, that sounds a lot more enjoyable. I just know how hurt he'll be once I tell him the truth. He just seems so excited that we both be going to the same college together. I, I couldn't bring it myself to show him my acceptance letter to NHU. Northern... Oh my god, I almost just fucking invoked the name of my first high school, which was... Way not a good school, and I don't even want to think about it. NHU. Or maybe I'm just making excuses. 
Maybe I've just gotten used to lying to him at this point. I mean, this isn't the first time I've done it, right? Almost every time we're together, it feels like I'm lying to him, trying to hide who I really am, but... Should I even feel bad about that? I'm just not ready to tell him that I'm gay yet, and that isn't a bad thing, but why am I not ready? Is it really that I don't trust him enough as... enough? Trust him enough, as Jay said? Am I a bad friend for keeping this from him? There's no reason why I shouldn't tell him. I, I know that Deacon wouldn't care and would probably be supportive, but I just keep telling myself, what if? Oh my god, the what ifs fucking get me all the time. What if Deacon hates me? What if he's disgusted and never wants to talk to me again? I don't know what I'd do if I lost him. The thought of that happening makes my stomach churn, so I push it out of my mind. Instead, I choose to just sit in silence and listen to the radio until we arrive. Watching the road signs pass me by as we hit 85 and a 60, not even bothering to tell Jay to slow down. We're here. Are we really doing this? Yes, now get your tail out of the car. Get your tail out of the car. Okay, I'm coming. Didn't need to know that, but okay. <laughs> You're the worst, you know that? I have no... Oh, my God. <laughs> Amongst all of the repeated phrases in these visual novels, some of which, you, as, as my regular viewers will note, I refuse to say, that one is just funny to me. I have no idea what you're talking about. Fucking every game. Almost, almost every game. The trek into the woods isn't too far, but due to the fact that there are no of there being no path to follow we follow we did end up getting lost this is a party with a bunch of high schoolers out in the woods after a while of stumbling around in the forest blindly we eventually could hear we eventually comma could hear the sounds of music and muffled chatter so we followed that after a bit of following the sound we arrived at the at a pretty sad looking party oh my god <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Next s s step, <laughs> the fucking banner. It's just like spray painted. Oh, you know what? They were trying their best. Oh my god, you better pick up those fucking cups, man. This is a forest. Oh man. I don't go to many parties, and even I can tell this isn't a very good one. Over to our left, there's a picnic, ta picnic table cluttered with red solo cups. Filled with what I can only assume to be alcohol. Illegal substances for minors. Oh, God, what are we going to do? The sound of a boombox can be heard playing some outdated pop music. Although it's pretty muffled, seeing as it's as seeing as seeing someone knocked it over and no one has bothered to pick it back up. <laughs> Poor boombox, he's trying his best. <laughs> I literally just said that. Down the path, there's a group of people crowding around a small bonfire that looks like it's on the verge of going out, and many more groups scattered around mingling. Everyone's just sort of keeping with the same clicks they did back in high school from the looks of it. Which makes sense. This doesn't really make for a great party. Not that I'm complaining or anything. Scanning the area more, I can't seem to spot Deacon anywhere, which, I'm a little ashamed to say, fills me with some relief. It's because he's right behind you, isn't he? Not much of a party, is it? Yeah, uh, what? Well, yeah, what happened? Wasn't the budget for this supposed to be pretty big? My guess is that whoever set this up must have pocketed a majority of it. You think so? Isn't that, like, illegal? Probably, but no one's gonna tell. Really? Why not? Technically, it's illegal for us to be out here in the first place. Jay motions towards the picnic table filled with alcoholic beverages. I doubt anyone here is of age to drink. dryers making weird noises. No, well, maybe Rick. He was held back quite a bit, but I don't think even he'd be capable of drinking that much beer. Wait, hold on. It's illegal for us to be here? What if we're caught? Whoa there, buddy. It's fine. We're far enough out that no one will be able to hear us for miles. Yeah, that's usually a bad sign in these visual novels, but I've played. I just played way too many fucking Echo games. <laughs> It's like the only good thing about living in the suburbs. Lots of partying spots if you look hard enough. I like the suburbs. I'll miss this when we move. 
There are no places like this in this city. Parks! Parks! They're everywhere! So we won't go to jail? Because I can go to jail now. I'm 18. <laughs> no, we're not going to jail. At least not tonight. Okay, cool. But seriously, if you hear any sirens, run. We can't afford to get caught and lose our scholarships. Thanks! That makes me feel so much better. Just looking out for you. So, see Deacon anywhere? I was just looking for him, but I couldn't spot where he was. I didn't even be here yet. Of course, you said you were going to go with him, so he might be, like, waiting for you to show up at his house. I don't fucking know. Maybe you should text him to see if he's okay. Oh, right, right. No service. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that spooked me for a second. It's like August 10th. I'm like, no, no I, I'm recording this on September 1st. Dang, really? I wonder what's holding him. Me too. I hope he's okay. He seemed really excited about this party. Kind of worried. I'm sure he's fine. Probably just had to help his mom out with some stuff. He'll probably be here any minute. Yeah, right. Well, I spot my friends over there. If you want, you could come join us until he shows up. I don't know. I don't think they like me very like me that much. What? That's not true. Last time, Alan called me a pile of used toothpicks. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but I think it wasn't nice. That's just how he is. I might just go look for Deacon to see if I missed him before. Okay, well, if you need me, you know where I'll be. See ya. Au revoir. <laughs> I'll walk around the forest for a good while, looking for the Tanuki, going around and scanning each group to see if he's there. I'll go up and ask them if anyone had seen him, but that would require talking to people, so <laughs> no thank you. Uh, after a good while of this, I conclude that he's not here yet. I debate whether or not to take Jay up on his offer, but thinking about spending time with Alan makes me hesitate. Instead, I decide to, decided to sit down on a rock and wait for him to show up. I mean, he's the one that invited me here, so he should be the one to find me, right? <laughs> Uh, I sit there just observing everyone having fun. Fun's definitely not the word for it, but I guess they're all having a better time than I am right now. Alone. I start to feel a bit self-conscious about just staring at everyone like some weird stalker, so I decide to lay down and stare at the stars. Ah, very nice. I don't know what it is about stars, but looking at them always helps calm me down. Deacon would always be able to tell when I'm having a bad day. He'd offer to offer me a ride in his car, but refused to tell me where we were going, even though I already had a pretty good idea of the destination. He'd drive us for miles until we arrived at some wide open field we hadn't been to before. We'd lay there for hours, just staring at the stars. Didn't even have to talk or anything. We'd just sit in silence, enjoying each other's company. Sometimes we would talk, though. He would ask me how my day was, and I just, and then he would, he'd ask me how my day was, and would just sit and listen as I proceeded to rant about everything that had happened from the morning and from that morning until then. Sometimes I'd be the one to ask about his day, and he'd be the one ranting. Sometimes we could just chat about some new movie or video game that came out, or just talk about life. Sometimes when we did this, we'd lose track of time and would talk until the sun came up. It wouldn't have been a bad thing if it didn't happen on school nights, but honestly, I regretted nothing. Deven found his, Deven found this app on his phone that allowed him to point his camera up at the sky and would show us all the constellations visible at night. So we laid there, side by side, for hours, learning all about constellations we had never even heard of before. One time, we just came up with our own constellations, connecting the stars and created our own little stories to go along with them. By the end of it, we had our own little universe set up. Wish I could remember some of them. I think those late night trips were just as much for him as they were for me. Were what? Were just what? I don't know. Despite how I felt earlier, I wish he was here right now. He seems to make everything better when he's around. Maybe, maybe he could even make this party just a tad bit more enjoyable. As I'm thinking of this, 
My eyes start to get heavy, and after a bit of trying to fight the drowsiness, I give in, and the stars start to fade into darkness. Ah, a sleepy MC. And... Wallace? <laughs> Are you sleeping? And... We're here again! Oh my god. Oh, uh, I guess I must have dozed off. Only you could fall asleep at a party. Oh, right! Oh, right! Uh, the party! Is it over? Not quite yet. It's only been an hour. Oh. You almost sound disappointed. No, it's fine. Just... Still waking up is all. Convincing. So, what are you doing out here all alone? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was just staring at the stars, waiting for you. You really like those stars, huh? You judging my stargazing hobby, D? No, not judging. Actually, I find it quite cool. <laughs> Ooh, I almost said a positive thing. <laughs> His fucking blushy face. Aw. <laughs> cool. I find it cool. <laughs> The fucking face is just really making me laugh. Really? I did. I don't know if I would describe it as cool, but I guess. Well, it is. Hey, where were you, by the way? Didn't you get my texts? No service out here. Oh man, sorry about that. I just had to take care of some stuff first. I can tell you about it later. You're fine. It's okay, really. Is it though? I know how you are with parties, and you were out here all by yourself. Is something wrong? Where's Jay? No, everything's fine, I swear. I was just tired from moving stuff all day. Okay, if you say so. What were you moving? Crap! Should I tell him about the move now? Uh... I should do it. Get it out of the way. Jay and I were... doing some remodeling for the house. I'm such a coward! Oh, really? Can't wait to see it. I'm sure the hard work paid off. Ah, yeah, sure did. Will you be okay for the rest of the night? I think the party's supposed to go pretty late. I'll be fine now that you're here. Why's that? I can't afford to fall asleep near you. No, no one, you'll pounce! <laughs> Smart. Although I'm pretty sure you'd be able to take me in a fight. <laughs> As if. No, really, I don't know what it is, but your grip is super strong. Must be from all that guitar playing. Years of jerking off. What the fuck was that noise? You think so? I uh, know so. Well, it's all the more reason to stay awake. If I fall asleep, you'd probably sneak attack me. You bet I would. I'm very sneaky. Yes, you are. Well, if you're fine, want to get back to the party? Sure, let's go. Sweet. There's some friends that I want you to meet. Friends? Yeah, met them a little while back. They're super cool and dying to meet you. Okay, I have more questions, but I don't want to keep them waiting. Such a gentleman. Now let's go. Walking back to the party, I noticed that a lot of the groups have shifted around, but poor Boombox is still face, to face first in the dirt. We'll get you back up one of these days. <laughs>